Peace, family. Welcome back to another video with Credit Hinder LLC. So today we're going to be discussing hard inquiries. Why? Because when you go and you apply for lines of credit, you apply for credit cards, you apply for vehicles, you apply for mortgages, etc. What happens is you end up seeing that your scores have dropped a little bit. And there's a reason why. Many people don't necessarily understand what hard inquiries are, what soft inquiries are. So we're going to explain those as well as give you tips on how to make sure that you strategize so you can leverage it and also not be a red flag anytime you apply for anything else. Let's delve into it. Well, what is a hard inquiry? A hard inquiry is simply when you go and you apply for things such as a loan and you're giving a lender basically permission to pull your credit. So what happens is they do have to run your information in their system. And most of the time they actually ask for your social security number. Okay. So I want you to make sure that you keep in mind that anytime you apply for something, when you enter your social, that they're going to apply and put a hard inquiry on your credit report. Now there's something that's called a soft inquiry. A soft inquiry is when you can give them your name and or your address, and then they're going to pull your credit and it's not going to negatively impact your credit scores. So there's a difference between a hard inquiry and a soft inquiry, but anytime you're applying for anything and they ask for your social, just know that the hard inquiry will be placed on your credit report. The other thing is, how many points does a hard inquiry takes off your credit report? All right, so it's gonna take off anywhere between three to five points per inquiry. Now, there are some lenders, they may run it multiple times. Say, for instance, if you are trying to apply and get a car loan, they will run it within a two week time period to see what they can do as it relates to your credit and how they can get you approved. So therefore they're going to shop around for you. And most of the time it's not going to bring down your scores a multitude of times only because they do get a window of 15 days, 14, 15 days, give or take to do shopping for you. So therefore it only counts as one inquiry. So many people, they ask me, Hey, um, this, I see all these different uh, inquiries on my credit report and it, it has actually damaged my credit scores. That's not always the case because when they do apply, as a lender, they get an opportunity to basically apply for different uh, accounts, see what they can get. And then in doing so, it only accounts as one hard inquiry. After the 14 to 15 day time period is over, what happens is if you go and you apply for, a, you know, through another um, car dealership, they're going to pull it and it's going to affect your credit scores at that point in time. So just know that you are giving and also allocated a window of time to do some car shopping when you are applying. Um, so it only counts as one hard inquiry. All right. And then the other thing is mortgages. So with mortgages, you get a 30 day time frame or window. You could do shopping. You can look around for different lenders and it also only counts as one hard inquiry. So keep that in mind as you are going around shopping because it's not going to damage your credit score tremendously when you apply uh for a vehicle or a mortgage because it only counts as one hard inquiry within a given time period so the other thing is when you go and let's say fence and you apply for verizon or t-mobile so when you do this and you apply this most of the time it's not going to affect your credit score negatively unless they ask for your social all right so when you go and you apply let's say for instance you're trying to switch um phone companies they will look at your credit scores most of the time because they do need to see what the deposits are. All right. So depending on what your credit scores are, how much debt you owe, et cetera, they're going to say, well, your deposit is $300 or your deposit is $150. And that's why it's very important for you to increase your credit scores because that will also determine the deposit as well as many times the monthly rates that you'll be paying. Now, monthly rates usually does stay the same, but if your scores are very low, they may consider you as being high risk and therefore you may have a different rate. But generally speaking, when you basically give them the deposit, that will be determined by what your credit scores are. Also insurance. So if you're looking for car insurance or home insurance, they will pull your credit report. OK, when they pull your credit report. They will see what your credit scores are. That will also determine whether if you are approved or denied, as well as what your rates will be. The lower your scores, the higher your rates, and therefore you'll be spending more out of pocket. That's why it's very important for you to increase your credit scores, remove your negative items from your credit report, and then apply. Now, 
what are some other things about hard inquiries to be quite honest it's pretty much plain and simple as it relates to what hard inquiries are as we've discussed there are hard inquiries and there are soft inquiries the hard inquiries do lower your credit scores a few points per time that you apply but we recommend that anytime you apply for anything make sure not to apply for let's say for instance more than two to three times a month two times is kind of like i would say the max time because again when you go and you apply multiple times some of our clients before coming with us they actually apply for something 10 to 15 times uh within a certain 30 30 day um time frame and so when they did that it actually affected their ability to be able to be approved for other things because they weren't patient i know and i know and understand that many people have and need certain things in life and you are very eager and anxious to get them sometimes you know you want it sometimes you need it but it's very important not to go and just apply for various credit cards because that following month or even three to four five for six months from now that hard inquiry will remain there okay so when it remains there and you go to apply for anything else what happens is then that lender will pull your credit report and they see well this person was desperate for credit therefore they may not have the liquid assets or the funds available that's why they were so desperate um to do that and therefore they may cause you to be denied last but not least how long does hard inquiry stay on your credit report they stay on your credit report anywhere between well about two years okay so basically two years that's when it falls off but we can actually get them removed much quicker so it's very important to be responsible when you're going you apply for various lines of credit because obviously the hard inquiries will stay on your credit report for two years and within that time frame you're going to be obviously looking for other things so make sure to be responsible as you're going to apply for all of these different things lines of credit if you're searching for any type of mortgage or any vehicle because obviously you do not want to be looked at as a high risk or be red flagged because you've applied many times all right family so we happen to have this discussion with you if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us at credithealing at gmail.com if you're ready to get started go to www.credithealing.org peace in 30 days 100 points this is what i got the instant approval i'm here and give a testimonial about credit behind me